here's one you might like. If the Earth was closer to the sun, would swimming pools be more crowded in the summer? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. I'll take that. Yeah, yes, sir. Five cents, please. Yeah, right. I'm going to use this one's night at the bowling alley. The guys are going to flip. Uh, yes, sir. May I help you? Yes. Do you still have a good selection of questions left? Oh, yes, sir. How about that one? Okay, let's see. If your skin was transparent, mm -hmm. would everyone be able to see what you had for lunch? Mm, no, I don't think so. You see, we're holding a small dinner party this evening. That might make us all a bit queasy. Oh, yes, I, I understand. Yes. Well, uh, oh, here's one that might go over well. Oh. If all the oceans in the world dried up, mm -hmm. how long would it take to walk to Hawaii? Oh, now, I do like that one. Yes, I'll take that one. Yes, sir. That'll be five cents, please. Of course. Uh, would you like this in a bag? Would you like this in a bag? Oh, my, that's another good one. I'll take that one as well. Oh, that one really wasn't for sale. Oh. But if you want it, you can have it. Uh, on the house. Sort of a get acquainted offer. Oh, I thank you. Thank you very much. I'll certainly be stopping in here again. TTFN. TTFN. Well, Ivan, the philosopher business seems to be booming. Oh, it sure is, Mr. P. But people can't seem to get enough of them. Well, that's good to see. A person can never ask too many questions. I've got one. If all the Canadian prime ministers throughout history suddenly appeared in this room, would there be enough chairs? That's a good one, Caldecott. I mean, Benjamin. How about this one? When am I going to get my own voice back? You already asked that question, Caldecott. I know, and I still haven't gotten an answer. How about this one? If people couldn't bend their arms or legs, what would a bicycle look like? That's a good one, Katie. Hmm, I see you've all been busy. Yeah, but I'm afraid we're going to run out of questions, Grandpa. Oh, you'll never have to worry about that, Katie. Mm, that's right, Mr. P. Asking questions is a part of the learning process. If you don't ask questions, you'll never learn anything. But isn't that something we're just supposed to do in school? Well, you learn things in school, but you don't stop learning just because you get older. Learning is a part of life, even before you start school. That's right. As a matter of fact, I know a young man who's always asking questions. Unfortunately for his father, he wants the answers to them. <laughs> Christopher likes to ask questions. He's very bright, you see, and I don't mind but I often find he wants the answers from me. I'll be reading the evening paper. I like to keep up with the news. When I feel a hug and a gentle tug somewhere above my shoes, Hi. he says as he climbs up, scrunching himself in my arm, then I know that he has some questions for me. I admit that I feel some alarm. Why don't I have any whiskers? And so starts the living room quiz. I shake like a leaf. But I sigh with relief. I know what the answer is. You're too young. I say rather proudly. Thank God for my college degree. But I soon realize from the look in his eyes that he's just getting started with me. Why? This is follow-up question. My blood pressure's starting to climb. Why what? I reply. I don't look in his eye. He'll know I'm just playing for time. But he smiles and doesn't seem worried. He knows that his dad will come through. He leans on my knee, and he looks up at me and says, Why am I younger than you? Oh, no. Is that a trick question? I feel my heart pound in my chest. I feel myself shudder. I try not to stutter. Um, you were born later, I guess. He nods at this glimmer of wisdom. I'm pleased that he seems satisfied. I know from before there's bound to be more. There's really no safe place to hide. Why is there 12 and a dozen? I hear myself starting to wheeze. And Dad, do you know, what makes the wind blow? And why don't mosquitoes have knees? Can a fir tree grow higher than heaven? Does a crocodile really have tears? And one other thing, does the ball really ring, or is it because we have ears? The living room spinning around me as he waits for my learned reply. 
But my psyche has been dented by the man who invented the words who, what, where, when, and why. Through the haze, I see only one answer. The top of my head's getting numb. In an unsteady voice, I don't have a choice. I say, why don't you go ask your mom? It's a worn out cliche and I know it, but it's safer than playing with fate. That works like a charm. He climbs down from my arm. After all, he is only eight. I watch as he goes to the kitchen. Then when he's well out of sight, I run to the hall and make a quick call. Is the library open tonight?